Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Brandon, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a voiceover on this next video that I did. This is our model Christina. Now, we're shooting out here in the park. Um, I want you guys to stay tuned after the video. She has a little bloopers going on. I think you guys will enjoy it. Um, right now, we're using the Sigma 85mm 1.4 art, shooting at 100 ISO. Um, wide open at 1.4 aperture, we're about 4,000th of a second in high speed sync. Um, right now, our Explorer 600 is about a half a power with my speed light right there, the Godox Flash Ion um, on the ground, kind of to her left behind her um, at about, about an eighth power. Um, the sun, everything was working out great in this shoot. Um, the colors were popping. This is a fashion shoot for her. Uh, we wanted to do something a little bit different, something that some colors were popping, so um, that's why uh, we chose this kind of setup. Um, I brought the speed light down a little bit, and she's joking around um, just to get more of a spread in this next shot. Kind of went with a monotone look. Very, very nice. Um, the Explorer is actually at a fourth power speed light. Is at about an eighth. Um, I usually have it about a stop or two under um, on my main light when I'm using a two light setup. Um, for a while now, I've been using a two light setup a lot. It looks really, really good when I can create my own rim light. Um, so right now, if you look at this pose that she's doing, uh, her hand, her right hand is on her jeans. Um, I kind of looked at the LCD and saw that it was kind of a a lax pose so I wanted to change it up a little bit get it a little bit more pop get her a little bit more fierce in her pose um, that's the reason why I changed it guys when you're looking at these poses um, a lot of times your models will kind of take it you can pose them and as you see when the shot came out it looked a lot better than when I saw in the LCD um, I don't have the, the raw file from the first one I took otherwise I would show you but it looks good really important when you're posing your models um, this shot here um, as you saw I had her come up just a little bit have her stick her neck out just a little bit more to make her just to make it a little bit more thin normally when you have your models come towards you um, neck out shoulders um, they look they look smaller and it makes for a, a much better shot um, I'm moving around here just a little bit trying to get that Sun it's a few clouds that I wanted to get and there's those clouds right there. I'm at about 2500th of a second. Um, Explorer's on the fourth power. Got my speed light about an eighth. Um, really good shot. And again, I got my speed light um, right behind her now because I want more of a rim light. Um, even though the sun is giving me a little bit, I want that flash. And as you can see right there on her hip, um, the sun and the flash was really giving her a really good feel like I wanted to. Um, again, I lowered my light down just to get more of a spread. Um, now, as she was playing around, she was doing a lot of times when models play around, they kind of do poses that look good. I'm like, hey, hey, hold that pose right there. So she was doing this little pose, and I said, hey, I want to capture that. A lot of times as a photographer, you can see these poses and you can create something out of it so I wanted to move back with my 85 and I wanted her to do that pose again I wanted to hurry up before she lost it and as you can see that speed light right there on her on her waist right there on the side it was really popping that side out so and that's the kind of look that I wanted and I thought that would look really good in the black and white here we went over to the to the concrete she put on the heel so I can get some more full body shots right here so And again, I got that speed light right there off to her left side, really popping out that left side. Colors are really nice and vibrant. Um, as you can see, I got the the shutter speed. I sped it up a little bit more to get just a little bit more of a moody feel, 3200th of a second. And I'm having her look more into the to the light right now, so I can make sure I get that shadow. And it just came out perfectly. It still got that left side lit up. I got the shadows off of her face and the hair was blowing a little bit and it was made for a really good shot and as you can see I lifted my light stand up a little bit more uh, because she is 
a little bit taller and um, I wanted to make sure I accommodated for those for those shadows and for the spread really really popping colors in this shot um, this whole shoot was just really really vibrant kind of from a little bit different from what I'm used to shooting um, I like going really fast shutter speeds and high speed sync but this really worked out really really good uh, the jacket with the pants with the heels really really made the whole environment pot as you can see right here we got all natural wind no fans it was just all natural the wind was blowing everything was just working out got the clouds in the background and look at that really popped out as you can see I had to I put more power on the Explorer with about a half of power I think I put the speed light on the four she took off her jacket here in this next shot really really like this last shot guys stay tuned for the bloopers at the end and um, want to do something a little bit different here so until next time guys take care I'll catch you on the next one peace out Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Brandon again with another fantastic photo shoot today. Today we have Miss Christina came out here doing her thing. Now I'm trying to get her to come back some more, you know, but this is her, man. So introduce yourself to the people. Put your Instagram out there. Hey, y'all, what's up? My name is Christina Vanderhorst. You can follow my Instagram at underscore k u b a n eight underscore or on Facebook at Tina Maria nineteen. What is k? What is k? It's for? Cuban. Are you Cuban? No, but I've always gotten like it's my actually it's a, a, a line name kind of so and I can speak a little Spanish. So if I start talking you that speak lingo, speak, speak to speak to the speaker. I don't. Me habla español porque pero está muy acido. Pues de Brandon, es mi amigo. Yeah. Y muy loco. <laughs> I know a local. Pero I'm te, not crazy. Pero te quiero. Hey. My Spanish is rusty, so don't judge me. <laughs> Hey. Hopefully you have me back. Hope you follow me on Instagram. You gonna come and, back? Yeah, I'll come back. All right. Why not? She said she's gonna come back, guys, so we'll <laughs> see. Hey, comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Take care.